Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey! Ah, oh, ah, gah! <sighs> Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Uh, who are you? Jeremy Gill! Who? The famous fisherman! I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? I... Oh, well. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. John. Sure you don't want a photo? Not right now. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. So you're, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> You're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send your fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. A fan. Good timing. Do you have a camera? Sure. What are you talking about? Liars! Damn liars! Well, you know, they're the liars. Hey, are you the guy that took the photos? I don't think so. Oh, must have been that fella from Quebec. I... Did you say you had a camera? Yeah. Good. You'll do then. What do you need? I found a giant catfish up near Frontera Bridge over in Rio Bravo. Isn't that on the desert? Yes. And I'm going to catch it. And you are going to photograph me catching it. And then these bastards who call me a fake will discover who really catches these fish. You do, right? Well, you know, some of them. Uh, listen, I know how to catch fish. Uh, come on. I don't want to go out to Rio Bravo. Uh, it'll be an adventure. Come on. I've got quite enough adventures. Uh, I'll give you something you really love. Okay, then.
So, a catfish in the desert, is that normal? No, not at all. That's why it's so fascinating. It's adapted to a new environment, turned a horrible pallid yellow color, and weighs close to 200 pounds by all accounts. What? Oh, yes. I still need a good name for it. The fans love a name. Old Chalky. El Diablo Amarillo. Uh, I'll come up with something. I always do. I already have a draft of this written for my newspaper column. You haven't caught it yet? Yes, but never has a conclusion been more foregone. So, what exactly am I getting out of this again? What are you getting out of it? Only the best day of your mundane little existence. How often do you get to be a part of a legend? To experience a masterclass in extreme angling up close and personal. To watch an artiste paint his masterpiece. I was talking about money. Good God, the avarice. Do you think Hannibal was haggling as he went over the Alps? You'll be handsomely rewarded, don't you worry about that. A Japanese man once offered me $500 just for an hour of my company. I told him, add a zero, and then maybe we can talk, chum. A whole hour, huh? <sighs> ah, this is the place. <laughs> okay, what's the plan? Oh, no, catfish are easy. Just a couple of rashers of bacon and that boy will be fine. Listen, I want you to get a picture of me actually landing the thing. I'll try. You no, know, you do your best. Okay, chum? Set up over there. <laughs> yes, boss. <sighs> like I said, fame hasn't changed me. But it has opened a lot of doors that were previously closed. I'm actually planning on turning fishing into a way of, well, uniting nations. <laughs> I'm gonna head to D.C., discuss it with the president. Then I'm gonna head over to Europe. Ho oh, oh. Bring the royal families together while I teach them how to fish. Hurry up. Let's catch this fish and go home. Oh, I'm ready. <sighs> and now we wait. That's the thing about fish. They can sense when you're desperate. Sure. Yeah. So we gotta stay calm. Just... <sighs> relax. Hooray. You know, I write poems. Would you like to hear? No, thank you. Okay. <sighs> I got invited to China. I'm gonna fish with the emperor there. Where is this goddamn catfish? I said, listen, sister, I don't care if you're the queen of Sheba, not just of England. Fishing is an art form. <laughs> yeah, well, she kept quiet after that. <laughs> oh, until dinner. <laughs> Hey, chum, uh, huh. wake up. The fish can tell if you're sleeping. Yeah, sorry. Where is that damn fish? I was out there for five days wrestling that monster. <laughs> but I got him in the end. <sighs> you know, the villagers were so grateful, the chief gave me his daughter. Hey. Chum! Sorry. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. We got something. Oh, oh we got something! Oh, oh. Is it that catfish? Oh, oh. It's something big! Oh. Good. Hurry up. Oh, no, don't you rush me, chum. This is me and the gods wrestling for immortality. Oh, oh, oh my god! It's a monster! Oh, oh, God, he's gone again. Damn. Oh, oh, no, no, I still got him on the line. You get ready. Oh, 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 oh. he's going to come back again. I'm going to pull him in just a little bit. I'm going to tire him out. Get the camera ready. I'm ready. Oh, 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 come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, come on. He's huge. Come on. Here. Get this. Get this. Here he comes. Here he comes. 
Here comes him off! Oh. Oh. My God. 